most everybody is is for voluntary spay and neuter. All my dogs are spay and neuter. Educating, uh, making things more affordable, more accessible, and lifting communities up. Everybody's behind that. Um, this legislation is not that. Um, this legislation is based on the false premise that all pit bulls are vicious and a detriment to public safety. Um, that's what this legislation comes out of. Uh, the state of California just disallows bans. So this is what Robert Miller in the county of Riverside has left you guys with. Um, that's not my opinion. Mr. Goodland, with all due respect, came out and said in the media that he would prefer a ban. So that's, and he's the one that proposed the legislation. So this isn't about spay and neuter. This is about banning pit bulls, which you can't do. So the second best option is to uh, spay them all or neuter them all so they kind of um, cease to exist, basically, in a generation or two. Um, the reality is millions of pit bull type dogs exist in the country, 99.9% .9 infinity of which have never done anything to anybody. Um, secondly, Riverside County has a mandatory spay and neuter, and they've had it since 2009 for all dogs. So does the city of Riverside, yet they both in tandem in October of 2013 passed this legislation. Pit bulls are dogs. They fell under the 2009 legislation. When talking about actual dangerous dogs, uh, they need to be dealt with on an individual basis and based on their actual behavior instead of just criminalizing dogs that look a certain way. Um, in regards to dogs that attack, maim, kill humans, there's always three circumstances that undoubtedly are aligned with, with, with these incidents. Uh, one are roaming and loose dogs, which uh, Mr. Johnston already brought up. Uh, that's, that's your responsibility on the human, letting his dog just roam, regardless of the breed. Um, chained and resident yard dogs. Uh, these are dogs that are unsupervised, that are basically uh, cheap alarm systems for people. Throw them out in the yard. Don't. They're not an animal to these people. This is bad ownership. And the third thing is unsupervised children. Now, any of those circumstances involving any type of dog, the outcome can be negative. Um, breed identification. This is Ms. Prado brought up. And last meeting, Dr. Drusi's brought up a really ridiculous metaphor with porn, viewing porn, and how it's easy to call out a pit bull. That's nonsense. Um, uh, what, what this type of legislation does is overreach. It affects 30, 40, 50 types of dogs. And uh, because when the media uses a slang term of pit bull, they're not talking about a specific dog. They're talking about a dog that looks a certain way to them, which is a subjective opinion. There's no consistency whatsoever. And in regards to uh, the enforcement and what Riverside County uh, said, there's there's things happening in the city of Indio right now, and it's an it's a incorporated city just like you guys. And what Riverside County are doing are they're leaving the uh, gated and, and uh, affluent communities alone, and they're going into the low income communities, the Spanish speaking communities, and they're they're attempting to enforce these laws. They're leaving citations. For $100 per pop, $100 if you don't have your dog vaccinated, $100 if you don't have it um, sterilized, $100 if it's not microchipped, and $100 if it's not licensed. So that's a $400 citation for each dog. And they're, they're doing these knock and talks into these low income communities, and they're leaving citations at people's doors when the people aren't even home. They're, they're whistling, they're knocking on doors, getting dogs to bark, and then they're basically leaving citations when they had no human interaction. They're leaving detailed citations when they've never met the dogs. And these are mostly Spanish-speaking people. Nothing's in Spanish. Nothing on their website is in Spanish. They're giving them 20 days to comply. A lot of these people have uh, citations that are for $1,200 because they may have two, three, four dogs, $1,600. You can't, you can't comply in 20 days um, it, it, under something like that when you're, when you're poor, when you may not have transportation. Um, it's it's a it's a it's a major problem. So in in contrast to that, educate, uh, lift up the communities, and do not discriminate against dogs. Thank you.